so this is probably not the best time to do this video but I'm walking and I'm a little bit bored there's a person walking their dog behind me and I'm getting a little bit anxious I keep looking behind so they probably think I'm being suspicious but I'm suspicious of them and there's a person in front of me now but basically I'm walking to my music lesson and I mentioned before that I wanted to do a video with my first cold with my septum pierced um, I think I talked a little bit about that in my septum piercing video but basically I've had this cold brew for about five days now ah the leaf just attacked me it hit me in the night I woke up and my throat was really sore and I was like no this is the beginning of something terrible and so it happened upon me and you know what it's been kind of awkward I've been getting used to it now my nose has been blocked and everything you know just the general cold but I have been able to blow my nose properly because of obviously my septum's in the way um, and I find it awkward. I also, the night before I started work, I flipped it up just so I remembered, you know, it was out of the way for work. And um, that night was not very comfortable because obviously my nose was blocked, but it was also running at the same time. So I woke up to a snotty septum basically, and it wasn't very comfortable, it wasn't very nice. I feel like I can't blow my nose properly. Um, it's just a bit awkward to be honest, but it's not the end of the world. There's ways to get around it. Um, it's much more comfortable with the piercing flipped down than it is up, which I think makes sense because obviously it's even more blockage to my airways, do you know what I mean, if it's up. But um, it's not as horrendous as I was expecting it to be, to be honest. It is a little bit uncomfortable. Um, the sneeze is a bit uncomfortable as well because I feel like it clogs the actual piercing holes, which is not very nice. And I've noticed the stink actually coming back, like a little bit of an odour around it. And I think that is just because I'm... Um, sort of drummed up, do you know what I mean? I'm all sort of, what's that word? Congested. And it's just not a happy time. But you know what? It's not the worst thing. I thought it would just be fun to do a little silly vlog whilst walking just to explain to you guys um, how I've been getting on with my septum piercing in a cold, ill, sicky environment. Um, as I said, it's not as worse, it's not as bad rather than I, as I thought it would be, but still not very comfortable to be honest but it doesn't make me regret having a septum piercing to be honest it's, you know I knew there'd be some sort of hindrances going into it and having a cold of it is just one of those things because I get crusty stutty boogers kind of around it and it's just a bit weird to blow my nose with but that's it really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any awkward piercing stories and I don't know really what the point of this was but I'm a little bit bored and I wanted to film <laughs> whilst I walk a kitty cat over there and it's really adorable and I want it but then there's a dog just across the road from it and it kept looking at it and I hope the kitty cat's okay it's really cute I want to pet it but I don't want it to follow me because I've got places to go and well, it just came up to me hello hello oh please don't follow me I hate walking away from cats they're like I best like, please please don't go into the road there's a car coming it's a sensible cat Oh, magic. I'm in Chelmsford Bond Street. It's, they're celebrating their first birthday. Um, this has kind of turned into a proper longer vlog than I was expecting, so enjoy. Yeah. 
just flown off. Why can't I pick them up on this? How cute this is. I don't like pink, but let's pretend. Oh, wow. It's definitely Christmas stuff coming out. Defo. I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, it's lovely. This is the chance for Debenhams. This smells amazing. And this. Oh, this one. Chance for Debenhams is legit awesome. I didn't even know this was here before I ever saw it. Ooh, I'm getting excited for Crimbo. Popped into Dunkin' Donuts and I'm so greedy. I got myself two donuts. The bluish one is a white chocolate filled. Are you jealous, Mum? And the other one's a pick a mix one. I'm not being horrible. Mum didn't want a donut, did you? No, I didn't. Well, I did, but I didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't say I offered. Bye. Basically, we want to go to Turtle Bay um, so I can get Mum dinner for her birthday, even though it's not her birthday today. She wants to pretend it is. I think I might get curry shrimp, king prawn, and mango one. But I'm always nervous about eating seafood out because I got really ill one time. <laughs> Our drinks, and oh my god, they're like the legit tasting. Like, you know, when you get drinks that's supposed to be flavoured or something and then they just taste watery? Well, this is not it. This is like, I feel like I'm eating a watermelon and it's just heavenly. Oh my gosh, guys, this is like legit. This is like how my nan would serve up food, isn't it? And these, oh, this is so cool. I'm not sure how I feel about this actual massive shrimp thing. That scares me a little bit. But this is looking nice. Wow, and there's lots of it, isn't it? Oh, okay. enjoy. Do this, but look how cool the cubicle in the toilet is. Like, wow. Okay, this is so awkward.